Hey folks, it's Masterpiece. And I finally got my hands on the Boba Fett throne room. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. I do a lot of vintage collection reviews. Um, sometimes I'll do black series and the occasional Hot Toys. Uh, Hot Toys is another line that I'm trying to get into right now, but you know, more on that later. Please consider subscribing, liking this video, sharing it with a friend. And uh, yeah, we're gonna check this out, get right into it. As you can see here, this is the front. This is a big box. I was not expecting it to be this big, even though I knew that it was going to be a pretty wide set. I saw the measurements when they first announced, announced it, and I was already picking out a place of where I'm gonna put it. However, with the box and everything else that's in there, I thought I'd use a bigger space than my desk that I usually do openings and reviews on. So yeah, so this is the front. There's a vintage collection logo right there, Book of Boba Fett. And then right here, it advertises uh, Bib Fortuna. The, this is the figure that's included in the box. You can see him right here, sitting down on the throne. Then you can see a bunch of bunch of the different Awikwes and other aliens that uh, basically Bibs henchmen. Right down here we also have the old Kenner logo. On the top here we have more pictures. This one looks like it's straight out of the scene where we saw uh, Boba Fett shoot down Bib Fortuna. We see some accessories right here. Here's another famous scene i want to try to display that i think when i have everything all set up and uh i have a place where i want to put it that's what i'm going to display up until uh obviously java uh is released so they're going to be releasing that i think early next year i'm not sure when or the end of this year there's big fortuna or as i like to call them big fortuna there's a spit and thrown This right here is the same image as the first one that I went over, except it doesn't have the Vintage Collection logo there. And right here is all the stuff that's included. That's a lot of stuff, guys. So today in this video, we're gonna go over each and every one of those things that are included in this box. Then on the other side, we got another picture. I think that's the same one as the front. On the bottom, it'll show us more about this set same picture as the front it shows how this uh platform bibs platform comes out and you can roll it back in more accessories all that kind of stuff so yeah well i'm super excited to get into this so i'm gonna open it right up and we're gonna see what's inside so what's really neat here is that as soon as you open it up you have like these little like drawers that kind of slide out and i guess each one contains something different from so we're gonna start from the top down i guess i'm guessing this is gonna hold a whole bunch of accessories so we'll check that out now and yeah so everything's labeled right there's the bib fortuna figure everything's alphabeticalized so as a matter of fact i think i'm just going to put this off to the side for now the next box here seems a little bit bigger oh okay that looks to be the arch over top of the uh, throne. There's a couple other accessories in there too, like this one you can tell it's the uh, throne room. Yeah, there's that. That looks really nice. You can see the detail on it, the weathering.
Not bad. Not bad, Hasbro. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. Nope. Okay. So in that tissue paper, we had these things uh, wrapped up. I don't know where these go to, but we're gonna figure it all this out. So yeah, stay tuned. Here's the platform underneath are the wheels. And you know, there's still a certain amount of detail underneath all this, even though, you know, you don't really look at any of this, you know, you wouldn't lo know what it looks like down here, but yeah, so it's got the wheel so it'll roll in and out nicely. I'm just gonna put this stuff in the back here for the meantime. This is what I was looking for. Here's the instructions on how to build this. This is like right here. So now once you get those two together, you're gonna grab this. Grab these things that we didn't know what we were gonna do with. There are some holds for these things to insert into. So we're gonna put these in like so. So once you got that part on, there's some notches right next to the stairs. One right here and another one right here. You're just gonna slide those in, but at the same time, while you're trying to put that in, uh, there's some notches to for these things to go into on the back wall. So just pop into place. That all fits really nicely. And I'm gonna lower the camera for you guys. There it is. Now you can get a better view of it. Once we get that part in, the next part that it calls for is the platform that just slides right in. And now, we pretty much just put the accessories, so. I'm not gonna go over all of the accessories and stuff like that, like where they should go. These instructions, if you buy the throne room, It'll go over all of that. I'm pretty sure you don't want me to be going each one where to put it. So I'm just gonna do that off camera. And uh, yeah, we'll see what it looks like in the end. So I'm back, everything's put together. I put all of the uh, accessories uh, where they're supposed to be, where it's at on the instructions. So this is how it turned out. It looks really nice. Let me see if I could get up close here with some of these accessories. So, we'll start in the back. There's some shot glasses like right over there on that little table. I wasn't able to stand those, so I just kind of gave up and I just kind of like put them on that table. They're all kind of floating around right there. But right here, right there is a tray. And then there's some wine glass looking things right here. For some of these little accessories, there's slots for those to go into. So if you could see on that tray, there's two slots for the bottom of those wine glass things to go on to, but you know, I tried putting them on and they just keep popping out. I don't know if those holes are just a little too small, but 
I almost lost one of those, so I just decided to put them right there where they are now, just so I wouldn't lose them. Uh, you could interchange the Kwaki and Monkey Lizard for this big piece of meat right here. I just got it off to the side in the meantime. There's some cups over there. Some more accessories right here. And moving on to the front. Just overall, it has like a good texture to it. It's weathered too. Uh, I think they could have used some more weathering on the stairs. It's a little too clean looking, but it still has that texture. So if you wanted to go in and, you know, put like a black and brown wash, just grab some black paint, uh, brown paint as well, and a little bit of water, mix it all together. Put some on the floor here, on the stairs too, and then quickly wipe it off. You could definitely do that. And I might, I might do that. But you see like this platform right here, the throne platform is pretty good. It has enough weathering, I think, to, you know, really make it pop. But the rest of it still needs some more. You got some more accessories here, some plates, a bag of credits, Spotchka, these pelt rugs, those are actually made out of soft good, soft, soft good material. There's a throne, a lot of good detail on that. Over here, we have some fruit, a basket full of fruit. We have a droid head right there. It's kind of strange, but nice little accessory. Adds a nice little touch to it. Some more pots. I did notice that under here, it's kind of uh, transparent. So you could add like a light, a flickering light to really bring that out. I'm probably gonna end up doing that. I, I just don't know how I'm gonna do that, but uh, I love that Hasbro kind of left that, left that open for us to add some LED lights in case uh, we wanted to make that light up. You could spin this, which is really nice. Right here's a little lever. That's cool. So this set does come with Bib Fortuna, and surprisingly, it doesn't come unpunched. Usually with these play sets and vehicle sets, the figures that it comes with come unpunched. But for some odd reason, I don't know if maybe it's just my Bib Fortuna. I just got uh, unlucky and mine came punched. I did not get an unpunched Bib Fortuna. I'm not, I, I don't know if you're supposed to. Anyways, there is the card back image of, of Bib Fortuna from the Book of Boba Fett. There he is, wearing soft goods. And he has the staff that he had with the old Kenner action figure from back in the day. This is VC-276. And we will open this up and check the figure out inside. I guess being Daimyo of Tatooine means that you could have an all-you-can-eat buffet ready at your fingertips whenever you want because this guy is pretty big. Big Fortuna. 
the soft goods are really nice. He also has a soft good skirt type thing. We'll check out the articulation. He has rocker ankles. Bend at the knee. Yeah, thigh swivel. He is on the barbell hip joints. There's a waist articulation. You can't really do crunches, even though he probably should. Arm articulation. The soft goods don't get in the way, which is nice. Some more arm articulation. And then articulation at the wrist. Head articulation is limited, but that's just because of the leku. There's one leku tentacle that uh, goes across his back. It's also pretty flexible that you could put it in the front if you wanted to. And then there's the other one that just wraps around his neck. So a really nice figure. You can see the detail on the skirt thing that he has. The jewelry necklace that he has. There's some good detail on those bracers. And then for his one accessory that he comes with, which is this staff that they decided to include in the, the series. This staff was actually an accessory that the old Kenner Bib Fortuna came with, which was kind of random because we didn't see it in the movie of Return of the Jedi. So nobody really knew why uh, the action figure had this staff up until now that uh, we see him with the staff in the book of Boba Fett or more so the end of Man the Mandalorian season 2 and it's really nice that he is on the barbell hips because then that means we are just able to sit him down on the throne like so just for Boba Fett to come and shoot him and take that throne off for himself All right, so I thought I'd compare the two Bib Fortunas just because I had this one in the barge, which is like right next to me, basically. So I just grabbed them and pulled them out of the barge. But here is the regular release, regular Return of the Jedi release of Bib Fortuna. And right here is the new one. In terms of size, it looks like Big Fortuna is a little bit taller than Bib Fortuna, just by a little bit. The paint apps are a little bit different. Uh, Big Fortuna right here just looks a bit more paler, whereas Bib Fortuna has kind of like a blue wash 
on his face. Obviously, this one being a little bit more thinner than Big Fortuna. And then he also comes with his uh, staff. But pretty much the same idea. The robes that he's got on is the same, same idea as the one that Big Fortuna is wearing. Same with the skirt here, except there seems to be more detail on this one than there is on the first release, the first rendition of Bib Fortuna. And then he doesn't, the, the new one doesn't have this. In terms of articulation, uh, it's pretty much the same, except this one doesn't have the barbell hips. I think it's in the um, ball and swivel hips. And it doesn't have the rocker angles. So this is outdated. And for being out of shape, this guy actually is a lot better at articulation than this one. So that's it for this video. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna decorate it like this. I'm going to have Boba Fett and Fennec Shand uh, posed up there. For the meantime, I'm just going to put this uh, somewhere else. I didn't want to display it all how I wanted to because it's just, right now I have it on a table that's big enough just so that I can record and show everything off so i'm going to find a different place to display this and then set it up my way so i definitely recommend this playset if you can get your hands on it i know it's a little bit expensive and it dropped in like the worst time because you know the has that just finished up there was a whole bunch of uh, figures that were set to release around this time but if you can get your hands on it it's great especially since you could make it the boba fett's throne room or Jabba's throne room. You have that versatility, which is really nice. I love that Hasbro uh, released this playset. It's perfect. So uh, that's going to be it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.